Chapter 1018 Mandis's family was so scared that they collapsed and screamed. They really did not expect that the caller would immediately instruct to shoot after three seconds. The one who died was the eldest son of the family, and Mandes's parents loved the eldest son the most. Seeing that his eldest son was instantly taken his life, the two of them went crazy and cried. Mandes was sprayed with red and white because he was closest to his brother. He was already scared to death. When he was in this business, he never thought that this business would be terrible. At this time, Alex said coldly through the PA system, I will give you three more seconds. If you don't get out of the car and surrender, then I will let the sniper randomly kill the second person. As soon as these words came out, all six of them lost the courage to resist, and ran out of the car in a hurry. After getting out of the car, the six people raised their hands high above their heads, and their faces were filled with the deepest fear. This is the first time they have witnessed such a bloody and direct death with their own eyes. Everyone's heart trembled. Even Mandas's mother, sister, and Ian were so scared to pee their pants. Alex continued to shout, All six of you kneel down at the back of the car, hold your head in your hands, and if anyone dares to make any other actions, kill it on the spot. How dare these six people fail, they hurried to the back of the car and knelt on their heads. At this time, the big car at the rear slowly retreated tens of meters, leaving a huge open area. Afterwards, the helicopter that Alex was riding in began to slowly land on this open ground. The former special forces on other helicopters moved faster, and they had quickly descended onto the bridge by cable descent. Dozens of former special forces armed with live ammunition had surrounded the six groups at this time, and their guns were all aimed at them. Several former special forces have entered the Iveco and quickly checked the health of the ten children in the car. Afterwards, he reported in the intercom system. Master, all ten children are in a coma, but I checked their physical indicators and vital signs, and there is no danger to their lives, please rest assured. Alex immediately relaxed. Since the children are all right, the remaining task is how to deal with these human traffickers. He not only wants these human traffickers to pay the price of their lives, but also finds out their downstream buyers and kills them all. At this moment, Alex's helicopter had slowly stopped on the bridge. Alex pushed the hatch and jumped down. The six people, including Ian, were all kneeling on the ground at this time, looking at Alex coming down from the helicopter in horror. But the distance at this time was still a bit far, Ian did not recognize Alex. Alex didn't see Ian either, he thought this was Mandez's family. But when he got closer, he saw Ian with a frightened face among the six people. Alex's heart was suddenly extremely angry. He really didn't expect that Ian would be involved. No matter how hard this kid pretended, he was one of the orphans who came out of the orphanage. Alex never expected that it was this Ian who grew up in the orphanage who would collude with others and steal from the orphanage. 10 children out. Ian also saw the man coming by at this time. When he recognized that the person walking by was Alex, his whole person's worldview was instantly subverted. How come? How could it be Alex?